Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, this power here, which is x plus 1, we can write it as x minus 1 plus 2. That is, we replace this and we have 5 raised to power x minus 1 plus 2, then minus 5 raised to power x minus 1, then equals to 75 on this side. Then when we follow the law of indices, from when we have a raised to power m plus n, this same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is, here we can treat x minus 1 as m and 2 as n. And we can write this as 5 raised to power x minus 1 times 5 square. Then minus, here we have 5 raised to power x minus 1 equals to 75 from here. And next step here, 5 raised to the power x minus 1 is common. When we factor it out, we have 5 raised to the power x minus 1. Then into brackets, here we are left with 5 square. Then minus 1 left here, close brackets, which is equal to 75 from here. And next step here, this same thing as 5 raised to the power x minus 1. Into brackets, 5 square, that's 25, then minus 1. Close bracket equals to 75 here. That is, here yeah, this becomes 5 raised to the power x minus 1 times 24, then equals to 75 on this side. That is, next step here, we can divide both sides by 24. Divide this side by 24. Also divide this side by 24, which implies here yeah, 24 cancel each other. Then we have 5 raised to the power x minus 1 left, which is equal to 75 over 24 here. And from here, we can also rewrite this as 5 raised to the power x minus 1, then equals to, yeah, this can be written as 3 times 25. Then here we have 3 times 8. That is, yeah, 3 cancel each other. And what we have becomes 5 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to 25 over 8. Then next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is, here we have log 5 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to log 25 over 8. That is, next step, we apply the power of log n. When we have log m, raised to the power p, this same thing as p log m, which implies here the power is x minus 1. Now here we have x minus 1 times log 5, which is equals to here we have log 25 over 8. And next step here, we can divide both sides by log 5. That is, divide this side by log 5. Also, divide this side by log 5, which implies here log 5 cancel each other. We are left with x minus 1, which is equals to here we have log 25 over 8, then divided by log 5. And from what we have here, this follows from a lot of logarithm. When we have log a over b, this can be written as log a minus log b that is what we have here becomes x minus 1 equals to log 25 minus log 8 all over log 5 that is yeah we can separate this into two fractions all we have becomes x minus 1 equals to log 25 over log 5 minus log 8 over log 5. Then next step from here, 25 can be written as 5 times 5, which is the same thing as 5 square. That is, yeah, what we have becomes x minus 1 equals to log 5 square over log 5. 
a minus log 8 over log 5. Then, here we apply the power of log 3. 2 comes here. Oh, where it becomes x minus 1 equals to 2 log 5 over log 5 minus log 8 over log 5. That is, yeah, this log 5 comes each other. We have two left here. That is x minus 1. Then equals to 2 minus log 8 over log 5. Then, we take minus 1 to the right hand side, become plus, and we have x now equals to 2 plus 1, which is 3, then minus log 8 over log 5. And also here, we can express 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 3 raised to power 3. But this, what we have here becomes x equals to 3 minus log 2 raised to power 3 over log 5. Which implies here as well, we apply the power of logarithm. 3 comes here, and where becomes x equals to 3 minus. Yeah, since 3 comes here, this becomes 3 minus 3 log 2 over log 5. And here also we apply change of base. When we have log a over log b, this is the same thing as log a. To base b that is here we have x equals to 3 minus 3 log 2 base 5 so here we have the value of x in this problem as x equals to 3 minus 3 log 2 base 5 now let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 3 minus 3 log 2 base 5. Then what we have here becomes 5 raised to power 3 minus 3 log 2 base 5 plus 1. Yeah, then minus also 5 raised to power 3 minus 3 log 2 base 5. Minus 1 here, yeah. then is equals to 75 on this side. Then from here, we can bring 3 plus 1 together, that's 4. And we have 5 raised to the power 4, then minus 3, log 2 base 5, then minus also 5 raised to the power 3 minus 1, that's 2 here, yeah. then minus 3 log 2 base 5. Is it equals to 75 on this side? Then, from what we have here, we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to power n minus n, the same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. That is, here, this can be written as 5 raised to power 4 over 5 raised to power 3 log 2 base 5, and also minus. Here we have 5 square, then over 5 raised to the power 3, log 2, base 5. Is it equals to 70 on this side? That is, here, 5 raised to the power 4, 5 multiplied itself 4 times, which is 625. Then over here, we can revise this 3 up here, and we have 5 raised to the power log. 2 raised to the power 3 base 5, then minus 5 square, 5 times 5, this is 25. Then we also revise this 3 up here, and we have 5 raised to the power log 2 raised to the power 3 base 5, then is equal to 75 here. Then here, this is the same thing as 625 divided by 5 raised to the power log. 2 raised to the power 3, that's 8, base 5, then minus. Also, here we have 25 over 5 raised to the power log. Also, 8, base 5. Is it equals to 75 here? That is, this here follows when we have a raised to the power log b to base a, 
which is equals to b then what we have is same thing as 8 so 625 over 8 minus 25 over 8 here is it equals to 75 on this side then here we can bring this together as one fraction SEM is 8 and we have 25 minus 25 give us 600 then is equals to 75 here and 600 over 8 here give us 75 which is equals to 75 on this side left hand side equals to the right hand side and here we conclude that x equals to 3 minus 3 log 2 is 5 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn your notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up put your comments see you next class and bye for now